The collection is growing here. King DDD. They're so cool. Look at the detail. Looks like this sea hare is doing a pretty good job at cleaning up the tank already. He's eating away all the algae. So Gatsby has his once a year checkup already. I don't know, I don't really like going to the vet too much because they seem to charge for everything. Just a checkup. He's like going crazy. Finally calm down, huh? He wants the treats. <laughs> the vet was so expensive. $468. The good thing is that he's super healthy. They're like, wow, we've never seen such healthy dogs that you know everything about the dog. I guess that's why I'm paying you guys $400. Just tell me that. <laughs> it costs a lot because he has just to get blood work done because if I ever want to take him to Hawaii, he has to have something called a rabies titer vaccine done and that's like blood work and it takes like eight or nine months for them to figure out and Hawaii requires it. Anyway, I'm gonna drive home now. <laughs> Corgis ain't got punch lines or flow. I have both and an empire also. He love what that. Why don't these corgis don't ever be learning? These corgis will never get what I be earning. I'm still getting plaques from the records that's urban. Ain't gotta rely on top 40. I am a rap legend. Just go as the kings of rap. Who is the queen and things of that nature? Look at my finger. That is a glacier. Hits like a laser. Okay, I made it too. I just went and got shower cleaner here. I have my list here. Light bulbs. Light bulbs. Getting the last one. Yes. Let's check out the amiibos. Nothing here. <laughs> Empty. I get this cereal. I don't know. What should I get? I don't like any cereals. I'm pretty boring. Write in the comments what's your favorite cereal to get. Hmm. I always just get the same thing. Gonna make some more tomato sauce pasta, so got that. And let's get the chicken here. Chicken! Yes! Eggs! Okay, I grabbed enough stuff, I think. I'm done with that. Oh, such a nice day outside. Hey, Gatsby. Are you sleeping? He just sleeps when I'm at home. Okay, right now I have to go to my accountant and drop off all my tax forms. And since he is near the dog park, I thought I would just take Gatsby there. Yeah, you ready for the park? Looking out at everybody. <laughs> yeah? I've been drinking watermelon. Can't keep your eyes off my corgi, baby. I want you. Can't keep your eyes off my corgi, baby. So I'm gonna drop off my tax forms. It should take like less than a minute because I just go, here you go, and that's it. Woot! So I just dropped it off. So basically, I just have to wait for them to prepare all the stuff, and then I come back here and pick up the tax forms, and that's it. I'll be done with the taxes for the year. And two minutes away, we are at the park, Gatsby. We're here. Coming to the dog park. Oh, dog park time. Yeah, the doggy is. Gatsby's over here. <laughs> the big dogs of Gatsby. <laughs> it was back in 07, did a couple of tapes, did a couple DVDs, made a couple mistakes. I ain't gotta get awards, I just walk up up the door, all the girls will applaud, all the girls will come in, as long as they understand that I'm fighting for the girls that never thought they could win, cause before they could begin, you told them it was the end, now I am here to reverse the curse that they live in, got two phones to pick, I'ma only choose one, it might get addressed on the second album, which means you can breathe till my mother effing say so, so all my bad corgis I can see your halo. I found like this really funny amiibo rap song about the amiibo hunt. It's so hilarious. I'll link to the full video in the description below, but here's like a little snippet. Get with 
bridges way across town. I walked in the store like we own in the place. We head right over to the games and they are nowhere to be found. Damn it! Boy, wow, they're really in high demand, huh? I, get, I guess they're popular. We drove all the way. Hey, what about like a smaller store? This guy is brilliant, now we on our way to GameStop. They're guaranteed to have some cool exclusive zip stock. We roll in and it looks like they're also out. I've got to be kidding Oh my god, me. we literally drove like 30 miles. This shouldn't be bothering me as much as it is right now. There should be millions of these. There should be millions of these. Well, what are we going to do now? eBay, looking for affordable Amiibo. Type the one you're looking for into the search bar and here we go. There he is, Little Mac. For just $500? Are you serious? For that piece of shit. Five hundred dollars? You literally can't even pose it. Why? That is not the manufacturer's suggested retail price. I've never seen five hundred bucks. I've literally never seen five hundred bucks. This is worse than Sonic Boom. Okay, and before I go to bed, I thought that I would play for you guys the video that I promised you, which is Gatsby's IQ test video, which we filmed last time with Sean. Um, I posted on his second channel, Great Gatsby Corgi, so you guys who were subscribed could have checked it out there early. Anyway, I'm gonna put it here right now. So enjoy and good night. Hey guys, I'm here with my best friend Gatsby, the corgi over here. And we're gonna try out the dog IQ challenge as per a lot of you guys' requests. Are you ready, Gatsby? Are you ready to do the challenge? Yeah? You're gonna show everyone how smart you really are? The first challenge is you're supposed to put a towel on top of the dog's head and see how quickly he takes it off. Go! Are you gonna get it off? Get it off! Get the towel off! You have a towel on you! You have a towel on you! <laughs> Are you gonna get it off? Shake it off! Shake it off! Shake it off! Come on! Oh, there! Stop! 24 seconds! Okay, I'll give him one point. Two points equals he did it very well. One point equals he didn't really do it too well. And then zero is he didn't do it at all. For round one, he got a score of one. What you're supposed to do is just take some of his treats, which I have broccoli stems, which Gatsby loves, and stick it underneath the towel and see if he can get it. So, show him the treats. Broccoli, mmm. Here's the towel. Okay, ready? Wait. Wait, sit, sit, stay. Okay, go, get it, get it. Oh, how did you get to it? Get it, get it, get it. Where did it go? <laughs> Where's the broccoli, Gatsby? You can get it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Did you find it? <laughs> I don't have it. That was pretty good. Most dogs I saw pretty much just gave up. The treat under the towel, he got a score of two points. On to the next challenge. For the next test, what we're gonna do, I got one of Gatsby's fish treats here and he's trying to do his rollover. <laughs> he's like, I'm doing it, give me the treat! So what we're gonna do is have three cups. I'm supposed to put the fish treat underneath one of the cups and then take Gatsby out of the room for 30 seconds and when he comes back, if he can choose the correct cup on the first try, he's a genius. This one, okay? Okay. Okay? It's this one. 23, 2, 21, 20, 19. Okay, you can bring him back. Okay, Gatsby, which one is it? Which one is it? Which one? Which one was it? He kind of touched the right one. Which one was it? Is it that one? You got it! You're correct! Yay! You got a score of two points! So for the final test, which I think Gatsby will do really well on, is apparently you're supposed to go and just get the leash and see if he reacts to it. And if he gets like really excited and ready to leave, he's considered a genius. <laughs> Who made this test up? So let's try it out. Ready! You want me to put it on? <laughs> He's a genius! Woo! He got a score of two points for a total score of seven points. 
Apparently, the score of 6 to 8 is considered a highly intelligent dog. So Gatsby, Gatsby, you're a very intelligent dog. Yeah, everyone knew that. We didn't need a test to show that. Okay. This is my mouth guard because I grind my teeth. Thank <laughs> you.